focus on my porn with all this real sex going on around me. <laughs> you probably shouldn't snuggle. Yeah, that just felt wrong. I think I'm falling for her. That's a horrible idea. You're living every guy's dream right now. Why would you mess that up? I really like you. Mm. You always find these perfect guys, and then you're like, it'll never work. I think monogamy goes against our basic biology. Go hook up with someone else. You're kidding. Okay, I'm gonna call every girl in my phone until someone agrees to have sex with me. Toast to that. That is a terrible self-destructive plan, and we're behind you 100%. Adam? You are such an overachiever. Thank you. Go on a date with me. One date. Yeah! Why can't we just have sex? You can't fight me. You're. Mr. Uh, Reitman, thank you so much for um, interviewing with Black Tree TV. So, my first question to you is I understand that you typically like to do science fiction. So, what was it about <laughs> this relationship, especially with social media like Facebook and, you know, all of those, Twitter? What was it about this film and this project that made you want to delve into a relationship film? Well, it started with this wonderful script that Liz Merriweather wrote. You know, her her ear for for dialogue and for and her observational abilities with regards to the kind of complexities of of you know romantic relationships right now was just really really fresh, and I um, I just fell in love with it. I love the idea of. <clears throat> you know, exploring this area for the first time. I, th I think it's, you know, it's really part of the zeitgeist right now. I think it's really part of this idea, the, this question that, you know, men and women seem to have it easier to have a kind of a sex relationship uh -huh. than, than one that sort of is more intense and romantic and, um, um, and deeper is kind of fascinating. You know, I don't want to freak you out, but I'd love to hang out with you in the daytime sometime. It's not really possible. I have no time. I work 80 hours a week doing 36 hour shifts. What I need is someone who's gonna be in my bed at 2 a.m. who I don't have to lie to or eat breakfast with. I hate breakfast. Do you wanna do this? Do what? Use each other for sex at all hours of the day and night. Nothing else. Yeah, I could do that. Good. It's gonna be fun. Now, I understand you've been married for 30 years. More than 30. More than 30 years, okay. And I also understand- I'm a long-termer. You're a long-termer, that's good, I like long -term. <laughs> So what is it for you and your wife that keeps the relationship fresh? Now, I understand you sing, so do you serenade her? Uh, what, what's it not, much. <laughs> not much. Okay. I'm not a serenader. Okay. Uh, well, I think, uh, you know, you learn, you have to learn to really respect the other person and, mm -hmm. and want that. And you, and you have to learn to listen because you just can't have it your way. There's, there's, it's all the cliches, you know, compromise, listening, you know, finding fresh ways to be romantic. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, what's interesting about No Strings Attached is that, you know, we live in a kind of really cynical times, yes. and, and they seem to be getting more cynical. And, mm -hmm. and with all this new social media, there's this sense that you can get it all done, that all you need is a couple of sentences on some electronic right, thing yeah. that sort of deals, you know, that gets you through those sort of first few months of what historically has been normal dating mm -hmm. and um, and this I and I think what it does is it accelerates that moment when you think you should be having sex mm -hmm. and 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 find it cool and it's easier it's easier just to have that and deal with the physicality of things than then deal with all the damn complexity of having a real relationship True. Now, you said listening is important in a relationship, and I think you've made a quote that said that listening is important when it comes to acting. Um, so is that how you kind of created the free take uh, that you do <laughs> as a director? Uh, I just learned because, you know, I started working with these extraordinary improvisational actors, mm -hmm. comedians, or writers themselves, mm -hmm. and, uh, and inevitably they had, they instinctively as part of their persona have had better ideas often than what was written. and. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so I, I created this way of working where it, it became kind of like a reward. Yeah. <laughs> and people really uh, sort of got into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I developed this whole other style um, where actually I was pretty strict with the, the words in terms of getting them and then sort of kept getting things looser and and opening things up more and more mm -hmm. to create a um, kind of a fun atmosphere on the set that was still focused on the performance. <coughs> I, <coughs> I wanted to tell you, I, I was about to tell you, wait, wait. how long? Uh, how long? Not long. Not long. I, I, she needed a place to crash. You know, her landlord's a D-bag. And I, Christmas, I met her, ran into her, that's all, at a, at a party. And we got to talking about you. Most Go! Go! Ah! 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 Now, you have a, an amazing son, Jason, that's also a director. So if you could give top three tips for what it takes to be a great director, because obviously you're leaving a great legacy for your son. Well, try to find the best script you can. <laughs> There's a, it's a, I'm telling you, that's really, really important. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, really work hard at the casting. The casting, I'd say, is mm -hmm. as important as the screenplay. Mm -hmm. Once you have those two things, really the real work job for the director is just getting a sense of the tone that would be the most appropriate mm -hmm. to putting the, the words and those actors together. And then... Once you have that tone, in a movie like No Strings Attached, I knew it had to be honest, it had to be absolutely real, nothing had to, you couldn't act it out. It had to be kind of really like the way people speak in the most naturalistic way, mm -hmm. just to maintain that and, uh, and watch over it very diligently. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Wright. Thank you. It. it was fun.